Um, it was really mixed with emotions. And I mean, you have been waiting like that was like your dream all the time to get drafted one day and then playing in the NHL. And now it was the time that I got drafted. And yeah, like I said, my family sacrificed so much for me. And yeah, it's a lot of emotions. Um, I think it all started when I was 13 and I had to get up like in the morning. I'm um, at six in the morning, my dad at five. Then I had to go to school. My dad, he had to go to work. Then he picked me up from school like at 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Then we drove to Zurich and that was like one hour, 30 minutes away. I practiced there. Then I came home like at midnight and we did that for four years and driving every day, three hours to the practice. It was really tough for my whole family and especially for my dad. He lost two jobs in that time and it, he felt really bad. Like his body wasn't that good and everything and mentally it was really tough. But for me, it was like one of the best things that could ever happen to me because my mental part of the game was so much stronger because at 13, I realized, okay, I'm not just going to do that for fun, driving so many hours to the practice and back. So since then, I really took it serious and said, okay, if I do that, I want to be a hockey player one day and in the best league in the world. So since that, it's my big goal and I work for that every day really hard for that. Um, to be honest, I have no words for that, what everything they did for me. Um, you drive like four years, you drive so many, um, you drive so long and if you think like maybe it could go wrong one time, you know, like maybe you have a car accident or anything like that. So I was praying like the whole time because it's not normal what my family did for me. And like I said before, there are no words to thank them what they did for me. And I'm so thankful for, have, for having them.